up here today at the property. Going to do some clearing. Wife kind of kicked me out of the house so she could work on her paper for college so we can finish that up. So she's done with school, so that's the most important thing. So I'm up here doing what I like to do, get away, do some clearing. So today I've done a little bit and I figured, hey, I've got my GoPros. Let's get a little video for Mike. You can understand where we are here. Mike and I were clearing over on that side of the property for this last video. Wow, that driveway is green. I'm working over here on this side. I started this a couple weeks ago and you can kind of see where I've cleared. Basically where it's brown is where it's been cleared out recently. So I've been working on really just trying to clear it out to get a good area to put brush at. You know, at the end of the day all this needs to get cleared out so we can get the, the trees growing better and cut down all the dead ash trees and everything else that's dead here. So. That's our neighbor's cabin. Gorgeous lot set up. I told him I would buy it off him if he does sell it. So I've had that communication at least. That would give us a nice 25 acres up here plus two houses on it, everything else. So yeah, just gonna set, plop the camera down. All right, so my goal here today is I've got a little pile of brush over here. Got some brush over here. There's a mound of dirt in there. So I'm just trying to get everything back onto the other side. So let's leave this be, get some clearing done, see what happens. Just have some relaxing times and it's 11.30 now, so I'll probably be clearing for two or three hours today. I got a little carried away down here. So you can see here, I've moved the brush pile from down here, up here, and up. I'm pointing this level so you can see the slope here. This is where having two tractors and grapples are nice and why I haven't sold the other tractor yet. You can see where the, the brush was. It's a nice cutoff for visibility wise. I know that shows up in video. So, I'm going to probably clear down to this little dip off here. And this used to be a trail down to the creek. This is how we got down to the creek before. My goal is to really clear back to this tree right here. Um, that'll let give me a clear shot to clear out to the, to the shed. And I'd like to get on the other side of the shed. ADD, you know, you kind of do a little bit of everything. Or ADHD, whatever they're calling it these days. Here's my little mound of dirt, but working on getting through here between this tree. I figure once I get in through there, I'll just move this brush pile. And of course this one, it's uh, getting a lot of decomposing in it, so I like to move it before it turns into a pile of dirt. This is what happened to Mike and I last weekend. This is my brush pile. Of course this whole area back here, 
was brush that I've cleared out. So I just keep pushing this pile a little more, rotating it up and over. I might push this down a little farther. So there's a drop off down there. And oddly enough, which is something I'd like to clear to. So there's this ravine between the two lots. It actually flattens out like someone drove a uh, some sort of small excavator down there and it circles all the way around on this drop off. And I only found this, I think it was last year. You can kind of see there's a path here. It's probably the way it would be ago. My goal was to make this usable again. I just have to get down and around to it. But it just keeps going. And I think, you know, it goes this way. But I think I can kind of connect it up to the other path we have down there and just have a nice little switchback. And of course, if we ever buy this one day, that would be an awesome little path to get from the one house to the other. So, uh, I may have to send the, the owner this video. Be like, hey, yeah, that's the opportunity for both of us if you let me buy it off of you. I don't know how to clear this. I have a DR push mower. Um, I just don't know. I'm gonna pick up a brush trimmer this coming month on Black Friday and put a, uh, a blade on it. And I think that's gonna be the only way to get down there and clear that all out. So since it's winter now, no. It's now the time to clear stuff out. All right, so we're wrapped up here today. The property cleared for about three and a half hours or so. Made a lot of progress. It's gonna be a little muddy up here next time it rains. There's a lot of exposed dirt. What I ended up doing, a little more than I planned to. So again, looking where the undisturbed grass is. That's where the brush line used to be. So right in here, and it followed this dead tree up to there. Uh, so of course you can see I've cleared all the way back into here. Worked my way, kind of exposed this. Couldn't get much farther. The ground is very unlevel here. And the tractor didn't really like it too much, but see there is a path there down to the creek where you can kind of see a path there down to the creek but cleared all of this 
really impressive. And actually looking at it, this is kind of the wall for the autumn olives going this direction. So you know, there's a couple scattered in there, but I would say another two days worth of clearing will clear most of this out, which is impressive. I, I honestly feel like if I stayed up here for about a week, I could have most of this cleared out entirely. So I didn't get all this pile moved. It was uh, turned out that it ran into really the same issue I called out earlier that we ran into with the other pile with Mike. It's uh, turned into very nice soil. So I just kind of kept pushing it, cleared it out the best I could. But again, you can see this was our brush line here, this tree. And we would mow along the tree, right down pretty much where the passenger front wheel is of my truck. You see what my brush pile has turned into. Uh, at the highest point, it's easily 12, 15 feet tall. I'm not sure if you can tell for the camera. I mean, this right here, that log, is taller than I am. So, great progress. I like to get up in here. It's a lot of downed trees. Probably be easier with two people. So I'll wait. Gosh, there's a lot of dead trees up there. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixteen. Those are all ash trees. Good old EAB got all the ash trees. So love to find a program that would reforest this whole area. I mean, I'll plant trees all the way up in here. Of course, I want to fence this in for the dogs, but yeah, trees. <laughs> When we first drove into this property, we came down right here. My dad plowed a driveway with the truck, but it had the bush guard on it. We dropped our stuff down at the bottom there, and this is all trees and everything else. And through the past five, six years, we've lost hundreds of ash trees. So I'll stop talking. I'm going to go home. It's four o'clock. So y'all have a good one.